Hi, my name is Ben Holguin, and I'm a coffee enthusiast. I'm creating these videos to document my experiences in my efforts to become a coffee expert. So let's go ahead and talk about today's video, which is coffee and traveling. I used this AeroPress out in the U.S. Virgin Islands when I went out for work last week because I did some research, and I, as I usually do when I go travel somewhere, and I found that there's not going to be very many options for coffee, so I had to do what any logical person would do and go and buy myself a portable coffee maker. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into what this is and then the brew methods. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about a little bit of science or my understanding of the science behind this machine and this device and then why it's different from everything else that I've been able to use so far. So AeroPress was actually made by the company Aerobee, which is a frisbee company that makes frisbee things. Uh, and you know what's crazy is it actually turned out to be a huge part of a lot of coffee competitions. And yes, coffee competitions are a thing. So the AeroPress works very simply. It's basically a big syringe, as you can see. Um, coffee and water go in here, and you basically just plunge it out, and then you get your coffee that comes out the bottom. And AeroPress's claims on this are smoother, richer flavor without bitterness, and one-ninth the acidity of a French press. No grit, so the coffee's gonna be very clean, but let's go ahead and put this to the test and see what actually happens when we go and we try out these methods. But I guess I should probably show you guys what we did last week because out there on the islands, it was so much fun. So take a look at this 30 second travel montage and then we'll go ahead and get into the coffee. So let's go ahead and start brewing. The first up, we're going to be brewing hot coffee, and both methods will actually require a finely ground coffee, which is gonna be similar to table salt. And then if we have darker roast, it's going to be temperatures of about 175, and then if it's a lighter roast, about 205, medium will be somewhere in between. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's begin by taking a dry filter and putting it into the cap of the AeroPress. After, Put the cap onto the actual base of the AeroPress and let's rinse this filter out. Perfect, that should be good enough and we'll just go ahead and dump the water. Next we're going to have our cup here and then our coffee grounds. After we get these coffee grounds, let's grab our funnel, put that into the top of this, and then we'll quickly add the coffee grounds into that. Okay, next, we're gonna wanna fill this up to about the two mark, middle of the two or so. That'll give us about 145 grams of coffee at the end. So this whole process is going to require that we add water as slow as we can. Well, maybe not necessarily slow as we can, but slow enough to last about 30 or so seconds. good enough and then we'll take our stir and stir it about 10 times okay that should be good enough and then we'll pop the plunger on the top and this should take roughly 30 seconds to press through There we 
go. That's it. That's all that's required. I spilled a little bit, but I guess it's still pretty good. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, that's good. So this is supposed to be a concentrate, but in my opinion, I like drinking it straight up because it's very, very strong and it gives you a little bit of kick in the rear when you need to get going in the morning. So this is good. I like it. We're going to keep using this. Let's move on to the inverted method. And this requires that you flip the AeroPress from this position upside down to this position. We're going to be using this to make a cold coffee. And the way that we're going to do that is by using a one part coffee to 12 and a half parts water. By, we're going to measure this out by using these little markers that are on the AeroPress. So number four here, if we put the plunger in at the very bottom and leave it right there where this four mark is, we're going to fill this up with water and coffee up until the point where it hits right here at this, the top of the one. And in doing my pre-measurements, that's going to give us about 200 grams of coffee. So we're going to use 16 grams of coffee to 200 grams of water, and that should give us a good brew at the end. So let's go ahead and move on with this. Let's drop our funnel in. Let's drop our coffee in. Okay. And then we're going to stir that up after we drop in the water. So if we can do this slowly, that's going to be a good thing. The reason being is because we want to release some of the carbon dioxide gases so it's not super bitter when we actually drink it. Okay, we're getting close to the point where it's going to reach that one marker. All right, now most of it has floated up to the top here, so we're going to stir this in. Oof. I try to stir this for about 20 seconds or so. You try to rinse off a little bit without going over too much or at all really, but we're just right at that edge. Oh, there we go. All right, well, you get the idea, but we're pretty close. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this sit for two minutes. And in these two minutes, it's going to extract the coffee. And it'll be good enough for us to be able to drink or after we go ahead and extract it from the syringe. So within these two minutes, let's go ahead and talk about a few seconds of science. With the hot brew method of the AeroPress, we have a finely ground coffee. And when mixed with the pressure of the actual plunger, we increase the extraction speed. So this is good because we don't want the grounds exposed to the hot water for too long because that can make it bitter. So pushing it through contributes to a much cleaner, sweeter, nicer coffee, which overall decreases our brew time. Now in the cold brew method, we're using a finely ground coffee as well, but our extraction speed is much slower. One, because the heat from the hot one will accelerate it, but the cold will decrease and decelerate the speed for the extraction which contributes to a very long brew time. So in the hot method, the coffee comes out very rich and bold and uh, just like strong tasting. Whereas in the cold method, it's more like fruit juice. It's very light and it's, it's also good. So they're both good for their own things, but in comparison to other brew methods out there, this one's just quick, clean, and really nice. Now we're coming up on about a minute and a half right now. So let's go ahead, put our filter in the cap, and then we need to rinse this filter so that we can take out any papery taste and avoid soaking up any of our coffee. Perfect. So let's get this out of the way. Give it a good stir again. Oh, and this smells so good. Okay. Screw the cap on, and you don't need to use this funnel to, to drop this in here, but since I spilled a whole bunch last time, I'm going to use this filter. I'm going to put it on here. We're going to invert it back, drop it into our glass, 
and then it should take us about 30 or so seconds to to get this to go straight to the bottom and out the into our cup it's a little bit easier to press when it's cold Okay, and there you have it. That's going to be our cold brew there. And let's see how it tastes. Oh, that is very good. Okay, yeah, you know what? We got a winner here. You know, I like this one because the cold brew method of this, I mean, it's, we can't really call it a cold brew because cold brew usually sits for, uh, you know, a 12 hours to a day. So this is good because when you... Take it on the road, you can measure out everything beforehand. And if you have to pre-grind your coffee, you can do that. But you know, it's just so much easier than having to go and heat up coffee and take it on the road. So my next my next little thing I'm gonna do eventually is try this out and brew this in the car and we'll see we'll see how good that works out. But um yeah, that's pretty much it. Cleanup with the AeroPress is just so simple. All you have to do is take this cap off, unscrew it, set it off to the side peel off this filter and then make sure you rinse this off because this can actually be reused a number of times before it goes bad or it rips and, and that's just my experience but it's worked out pretty well and then push this plunger through and you're gonna pop out what looks kind of like a hockey puck and I think this is pretty cool because if you take that hockey puck there and then you add another one put some seeds in this one drop this over the seeds you actually get a little cake of uh of seed so you can uh, so you can go out to the backyard and plant it and make your little garden out back so it's just a fun thing that i thought you guys might like to check out so if you guys can't already tell i actually really like the aeropress it's a pretty easy to use tool it's cool and uh, it's a lot of fun so if you guys haven't already watched the previous video five tips to better coffee i will be linking to that in the description other than that, have a great one, and I can't wait for the next video. Thank you, guys.